Okay, so today is Thursday, <clears throat> December 2nd. So hopefully you have brought your lab safety sheets to the guest teacher and she has been able to check you off so you can do today's lab and tomorrow's lab. Um, today, your vocab is groundwater. Um, you should already know what this is because we talked about groundwater or you should have learned about groundwater last week in your groups when you did metal ore, groundwater, and coal, I believe, yes. Um, so you should already know about groundwater. So write that in your book. You have a couple of minutes to do that. And then we have our um, National Mutt Day. Um, I have a mutt at home, so I love my mutt very, very much. Today we're gonna do Explore Activity 1. We are going to do this as two parts, okay? So the first part won't take you very long. We are going to um, create and develop a model of a water molecule. So what this is gonna require is it's gonna require some moving parts. I have, um, you're gonna individually, I have enough stuff. I should have enough stuff for everybody to make their own um, water molecule, okay? So individually, you're gonna make a water molecule, a model, all right, that's part of the um, science things that we're learning. We're making a model, a scale model of a water molecule using a jelly beans, a starburst, and toothpicks. We may or may not need the toothpicks, I'm not sure. I did them with uh, gum drops last year and we needed the toothpicks, but I'm gonna try starburst this year and see if that works. All right, I'm gonna do it with you. So if you need help, um, just keep watching the video, all right? So what we're gonna do <clears throat> is first thing you're gonna do is your task, um, the people at your table, we're gonna have materials manager come up and uh, get the materials. So the materials you need are going to be, you're going to need one, each person at your table is going to need one starburst, doesn't matter the color, and then they're gonna need two jelly beans. The jelly beans need to be the same color, okay? Doesn't matter what color, but the colors need to be the same. So you're gonna have one Starburst and two jelly beans, all right? These are a good kind, you're welcome. All right, they taste yummy. If you don't like black licorice, don't get the black ones, Ugh. okay? So this is what you each group needs. Now, maybe the guest teacher was kind enough to separate them by colors. Uh, maybe I'll do that today, I'm not real sure, uh, to make it easier for you. Each group is gonna get, each person in the group, one Starburst, two jelly beans, okay? So if the materials manager says, I need blah, 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 number of jelly beans, so it's two jelly beans per person in their group, okay? All right, now, what you're gonna do is, we're gonna think about what a mo water molecule looks like, all right? This is a water molecule. It is represented, it's one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. So our oxygen atom is our starburst and our hydrogen atom is our jelly beans, okay? Now, obviously our starburst is a square. So we are going to turn that into a circle using the heat from your hands, okay? So I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna make myself a hydrogen, oxygen, water molecule, H2O. So I'm gonna open up my starburst I'm not gonna let anybody touch it because I want my, maybe I'll eat it later, my hands are clean. So you need to warm it up with your hands. My hands are nice and warm, it's already starting to mold. It's like, kind of like clay. If you ever played with Starburst, we're gonna do these again. We're gonna play with Starburst again uh, in the next unit uh, when we play with rock cycles. So I'm already making a circle out of it. So you're just gonna kind of play with it with your hands. All right, please don't throw it. 
across the room because you can eat it when you're done. All right. But if you drop it or throw it, then obviously you don't get any more. One starburst, two jelly beans. That's all you get. So I only bought enough for everybody to have one set. All right. So I have my oxygen atom. Okay. Turn that into a circle. All right. Now I'm going to try to do it without the toothpicks because I want to just be able to pop this in my mouth, see what happens. So I'm going to put my hydrogen atom number one, just kind of put it in there like that. Now, how you choose to put it in there is up to you. It doesn't really matter. There we go. There's one. And then I want it on the other side. So these are bonded together. So the toothpick would represent your bond. Okay, but I'm kind of using the gluey stuff. Because in reality, there's no toothpicks in, in reality. In reality, these bond together. Um, there's a, It's a covalent bond. So my hydrogen, my oxygen atom kind of looks like it's got earmuffs on. Okay, so there's my hydrogen atom. Okay, so the next step then is to, on page 19 in your book, is to draw a picture. Oop. It's to draw a picture of this, okay, what you just drew. So you made it, then you're going to draw it. All right, it doesn't have to be cute. It's just going to show you basically what this is. Task is showing you that we can create models that represent things that we cannot see with our bare naked eyes. Okay. So that's kind of a science concept that we use a great deal. So if I can't see it. I'm going to create a model of it. So if you're a model would be an example of anything that you it's in your head and you need to get it out to explain it to someone else. Okay. So if I need to explain to you how to get somewhere, I might draw a map. That's a model. Okay. So it's not actually the size of the street or the size of the area that you're going to. It's a model of that. Okay. So draw what your water molecule looks like on page 19. All right. That's all there is to it. That's it for today, for this one, for this part. When you're done with that, though, I want you to move on to this Bill Nye, slide 15, Bill Nye's water cycle. Now, Bill Nye can be funny. These are old videos, but what he's sharing with you is pretty good information. So there's a worksheet here. It's also in Google Classroom or will be. <clears throat> and you can do this as a group, a small group. The groups that did your molecule together, you can still work on this as long as you're nice and quiet and respectful. You can do the worksheet together as long as everybody turns one in. I just want to make sure that you are being on task and being respectful, showing those roar behaviors. All right. So you're just going to watch the Bill Nye video and work on the worksheet and um, just do it as a group. Everybody puts the same answers in. That's not a problem. And when you're done, you are welcome to eat your water molecule. So yeah.